Hi. Have you ever wondered how a train stops? What is the physics behind this fascinating piece of engineering? In this video we will see how the braking system of trains work. To understand how the train's braking system works, we have to understand the two famous laws of electromagnetism in physics. The Faraday's law of induction and the Lenz's law. Let's understand these laws first. Faraday's law states, when a conducting material moves in a magnetic field, electric currents are induced in the material, due to the change in magnetic field. These induced currents are called eddy currents. This law is also called, law of electromagnetic induction. It is the law of physics behind the electric generators, used in power generating stations. Lenz's law is similar to the Faraday's law, but it talks about the opposing magnetic field produced by the induced or eddy current. Understand, not only a moving conductor in the magnetic field produces current, the current in a conductor also will generate its own magnetic field. Both phenomena are complementary, and both will occur. Once induced or eddy current is produced in the moving conductor in a magnetic field, these induced currents in turn produces their own magnetic field. Lenz's law states, this second magnetic field produced by the eddy currents, opposes the main magnetic field. The opposing magnetic field produced by the eddy currents, will try to slow down the moving conducting body. The moving conductor, experiences an opposing force, reducing its speed and bringing it to rest. The application of the Faraday's law and the Lenz's law, brings the train to rest, when brakes are applied. Let's see how it's done. When the loco pilot wants to stop the train, he applies the brake. This activates the electromagnet near the brakes. An electromagnet consists of coil of wires, which generates magnetic field, means acts like a magnet, when electric current is passed through the coil. When the current in the coil is turned off, the electromagnet becomes demagnetized. Thus, unlike permanent magnets, which has magnetic field all the time, the electromagnet's magnetic field can be controlled by the current passing through the coil. Thus, the electromagnets are used in train's braking system, as it gives greater control over the magnetic field generated and hence the braking effect. Let's take a closer look at the braking system. The train wheels are connected with an axle. A metallic conducting disc is attached at the center of the axle. This disc rotates along with the wheel and axle of the train. The electromagnets are present on both sides of the disc. When the loco pilot applies the brakes, the electromagnets get activated. This creates the main magnetic field. The disc is now rotating in a magnetic field, which induces eddy current in the disc. This eddy current by Lenz's law produces an opposing magnetic field, which slows down the rotating disc and stops it. This in turn stops the wheels. These disc brakes are fixed on many axles of the train as required by the design. Since this braking system works on eddy current, it is also called eddy current braking system, or eddy disc brake system. The eddy braking system is more efficient than the conventional friction-based braking systems. In conventional brakes used in vehicles, the kinetic energy of the vehicle is converted to heat due to friction between the friction material linings in the brake pads and the vehicle comes to rest. This causes high wear of the brake linings and periodic replacement, and repair will be required. In eddy braking, there is no physical contact, hence no friction. Only the magnetic fields and electromagnetism are used for achieving the braking effect. Here, the kinetic energy of the train, is dissipated as heat, by the eddy current produced in the disc, through Joule's heating effect. The wear of the brake system components is very less, as there is no physical contact or friction. One of the interesting characteristics of this braking system is that the braking force produced by the opposing eddy magnetic fields, is proportional to the speed of rotation of the disc. So, if the disc rotates faster, more braking force will be produced. The braking effect can also be controlled by, changing the current through the electromagnets, which changes the main magnetic field. Due to the higher efficiency, quick response time and controllability, eddy braking systems are used in many trains. 
mostly in combination with conventional frictional brakes, in case of failure and also eddy brakes cannot be used if the train is stationary. They are used in high-speed trains. And are also used in roller coasters. Of course, very interesting and exciting science experiments can be created using eddy current effects. So, what do you think about eddy braking system? Comment your views. For more interesting science and engineering videos, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.